All right, so we're on to our second book of the Bible. All the books range in length, but this next one is the book of Exodus. So here we go, Exodus chapter 1. These are the names of the sons of Israel who came into Egypt with Yaakov. Each man came with his household, Reuben, Shimon, Levi, Yehuda, Yisachar, Zuvalun, Binyamin, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. All told, there were 70 descendants of Yaakov. Yosef was already in Egypt. Yosef died, as did all his brothers in all that generation. The descendants of Israel were fruitful, increased abundantly, multiplied, and grew very powerful. The land became filled with them. Now there arose a new king over Egypt. He knew nothing about Yosef, but said to his people, Look, the descendants of Israel have become a people too numerous and powerful for us. Come, let's use wisdom in dealing with them. Otherwise, they'll continue to multiply, and in the event of war, they might ally themselves with our enemies, fight against us, and leave the land altogether. So they put slave masters over them to oppress them with forced labor, and they built for Pharaoh the storage cities of Potom and Ramses. But the more the Egyptians oppressed them, the more they multiplied and expanded, until the Egyptians came to dread the people of Israel and work them relentlessly, making their lives bitter with hard labor, digging clay, making bricks, all kinds of field work, and in all this toil they were shown no mercy. Moreover, the king of Egypt spoke to the Hebrew midwives, one of whom was called Shifra, and the other Pua. When you attend the Hebrew women and see them giving birth, he said, If it's a boy, kill him, but if it's a girl, let her live. However, the midwives were God-fearing women, so they didn't do as the king of Egypt ordered, but let the boys live. The king of Egypt summoned the midwives and demanded of them, Why have you done this and let the boys live? The midwives answered Pharaoh, It's because the Hebrew women aren't like the Egyptian women. They go into labor and give birth before the midwife arrives. Therefore, God prospered the midwives, and the people continued to multiply and grow very powerful. Indeed, because the midwives feared God, he made them founders of families. Then Pharaoh gave this order to all his people. Every boy that is born, throw in the river, but let all the girls live. 